these two individuals were members of the Portuguese royal family. This is Infanta Benedita of Portugal, and this is her nephew, José. It was Benedita's father's dying wish that the two should be married, and so they were. Benedita was born in 1746. She was the eighth child born to Mariana Victoria of Spain and King Joseph or Jose I of Portugal. Her mother had suffered from numerous stillbirths and so she was one of four surviving daughters. Her eldest sister Maria became the first queen regnant of Portugal as Maria I. In comparison to her elder sisters, Benedita apparently was the only one not to suffer from mental or physical illnesses during her lifetime. These ailments might well have been caused by the successive um, generations of inbreeding within the Spanish and Portuguese royal families. Benedita was apparently considered very agreeable and beautiful and many suitors came forward for her hand in marriage. In 1760, her eldest sister, Maria, married their uncle, Don Pedro. Her sister was only 25 and he was 42. And the following year, Maria I gave birth to Jose, who was Benedita's future husband. Jose was the heir apparent to the Portuguese throne and it was Benedita's father's dying wish that the two marry. And so they were married in February of 1777. Jose was 16 and his aunt was 32. Following the wedding, Benedita was prepared for the marital bed by her sister, who was also now her mother-in-law. A contemporary said of Benedita, Donna Maria Benedicta was still beautiful, quite intelligent, and understood the energetic and noble soul of her nephew, who, for his part, had shown himself since childhood very affectionate towards the sister of his mother. They loved each other because they understood each other. The couple were to have no surviving children, although she had miscarried twice, once in 1781 and once in 1786. In 1788, her husband died aged 27 of smallpox, and so she became a widow. She was provided with a generous allowance from the Queen, her sister, and she apparently lived a very quiet and discreet widowhood. She dedicated herself to charitable purposes, and she lived to the ripe old age of 83, dying in 1829.